Hello darlings, my name is Nikima and we are Spain Homes. Today we are back in the beautiful peaceful town of Las Calendas right here in the region of Murcia. Not so long ago we showed you a new construction project and here today we are showing you a different property. For a steal everybody, 300,000 euros. This property offers three bedrooms, two bathrooms, is on a plot of 500 square meters and the house itself is 260 square meters. This is a beautiful area, one kilometer away from local amenities and a popular community for expatriates like yourself. So without further ado, let's get on with the tour. surrounded in the grounds of the property. This is a low maintenance garden but has actually been adorned with local and exotic trees and plants and it even has space for a vegetable garden. You can probably imagine that this is the spot where you would have your swimming pool but admittedly over the way just behind their home they actually have a communal swimming pool that the owners prefer to use during the year and so that's why they haven't built their own. So as you come in from street level, you would enter a very spacious and also well illuminated garage. This garage, as you can see, can comfortably fit five vehicles. What they have used it for is at the front, a garage space and at the back, they have storage for their items. What I do like about the garage is it offers 95 square meters. So even if you don't want to have so many cars to park you can use it to something else and then they have a door here that leads to the front gardens the perimeter towards the rear of the property as you also come in this would be your front door allowing you pedestrian entrance should you need it hello so as I come in through the front door, I am met with a cosy and interestingly decorated contemporary living space. Here we have your open plan kitchen and living room and it is a com combined space of 36 square meters. What I like about it is that you obviously have the windows here that are blinded out at the moment that let in natural light. The ceiling height is 2.6 meters and you also have here next to your living room a door that leads to your garden. Coming along this beautiful aquarium, which is ever so relaxing to look at, we're coming into what would be the dining room. The dining room itself is 22 square meters. It has natural light coming in on one side and it also gives you the separation should you want it between this space and your living room space. Coming now through the living room into the kitchen, you will find it is an open kitchen that has a monochromatic interior feel. This would act as your central island and really is your breakfast bar set to dine too. You also have your storage cabinets above and below. You have the cooking hob, your extractor hood. You also have lots of storage cabinetry, your dishwasher. You have a continuation of your appliances here with your microwave and your oven. And you also have the refrigerator and freezer. And I like how it's in the round as well. As you come out of the kitchen, you can go along the hall and it leads onto the left, the guest bathroom for this floor, which is fully equipped. 
Next to the bathroom, I'm going to take you to the first bedroom. This bedroom is 14 square meters. It has a similar interior feel. On one side you have your wardrobes and on the other side you also have a window. And then next to that, you have a second bedroom. This bedroom is 16 square meters. You can see that it is currently the children's bedroom. You have a large window on one side and also your integrated wardrobes on another. And then in the hallway also, through this door, you have your washing machine and tumble dryer utility room. Coming up the stairs to the first floor, I'm now going to show you the primary suite. On this floor, you'll also find the ceiling height is 2.6 meters. It takes you to the bathroom, which is fully equipped and serves the bedroom. And then as you go into the bedroom, this bedroom offers 14 square meters. You have on one side a window, you also have fitted wardrobes on the other, and there is also a door that leads you to its own private terrace. As you come back into the hall though, you do also have another private terrace that you can take advantage of on this floor. This terrace offers you the opportunity to take in panoramic views of the surrounding landscape and of the area. And if you'd like another space for entertaining, outdoor dining or lounging, then this would be your spot. It offers 29 square meters of space. And as you can see, it is a very clear and warm day here in Murcia. Just a one minute walk away from the villa, you can come to the communal swimming pools and gardens that are here for the residents to enjoy all year round. And when I say all year round, I mean all year round. It's absolutely roasting here. So there's many occasions, I'm sure, that you would love to have a dip in the shell-like communal pool. It's really well organized in the sense you've got a shallow end for the smaller children and also a deeper end for the adults or the larger swimmers. And you've even got this rounded jacuzzi area there on one side, surrounded by all these green zones in which you can sunbathe on and really well maintained and looked after. Lovely. The nitty gritty. The property tax or EB is 209 euros per year. The community fee is 200 euros per year. Yes, that's right, per year and the refuse is 150 euros per year. This is a fantastic family home. It offers comfort and is a good size and space that you can adapt to your liking. Also for a price point of 300,000 euros, this does not happen every day where you see a property like this. If also you have a few vehicles, you get a great spacious garage to take advantage of for use. What's wonderful as well is that you have within this area a very peaceful and settled expatriate community. It is full of people that are from other parts of Europe as well as further afield. Yes, yes, that's right, Mr. Parrot. And so what you'll find is this is a lovely area if you're wanting that tranquility, that little fuss and just basically living your life in a typical Spanish town. Within one kilometer, you have all of your necessary amenities. Murcia Capital is actually just 20 minutes away in the car. Torre Vieja is just 30 minutes away in the car. And you also have the beautiful monument of the Arab Baths, which is just 500 meters away. So if you'd like this listing and you'd like to know more, then please go to our website, which is spainhomes.estate, 
Also, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. My name is Nikima and we'll see you next time. Hasta pronto!